morning guys and welcome to Arbalaeus on this beautiful sunny morning and I've come over to take a, a walk around video which I know you'll enjoy of the beautiful I love this name Villa Darling and I've started kind of back to front really I'm in the back garden now which you'll see why in a second Now it's a stunning five to six bedroom Lakes Vega villa to the highest quality. It's in a little cul-de-sac in La Perla, so no through traffic. And it's also got the enviable Rambler front position. So the views, as you can imagine, are absolutely amazing. Just check those out. Sun's just coming up. It's very early in the morning, but I can see it's going to be another glorious day. And around now it's perfectly usable as a luxury holiday home or a full-time residence the gardens which were all pebble and and heavily planted have all been kind of upgraded so as you can see here in the back garden it's 90 percent terrace some beautiful orange and olive trees there easy to maintain now eight by four wonderfully designed swimming pool with side steps that go out onto this gorgeous covered porch. And what you can see there, there's fly screens, but these are electric, so they all go down. So it can be a totally closed in and protected porch. Double door access times two there into the central living room and diner. This is a very big house, around 235 meters of build size. And what you can see from out here, that's double doors going into one master suite and then as I pan around that's the solar hot water system I'll explain a bit more about that in a minute but it's a full eco corp solar system powering the property another double door access into a second master suite which you'll see and make more sense when we're on the inside opaque ironwork door there that leads out into the back garden and parking area which we'll have a look at in a second that's a garage which has been converted to provide a kind of second kitchen. Very, very handy storeroom. But I mean, easy, you know, it can be a full kitchen, lovely summer house, bar, whatever you want it to be, because it's got electric and water and tiling and everything's been connected. And we'll look at that stunning seating area, extendable awning coming off of that. So just the sound of the birds. You're overlooking these beautiful olive and orange and lemon groves with this gorgeous mountain backdrop. Now, apologies, I get some comments that we take too long to do these videos, but I really want time for you to soak in everything. It's a wonderful sunbathing area. And a better view from the of the garage if you like or the second kitchen from this side we'll have a look on the interior of that last of all and before I go round into the back garden let's have a look at this absolutely gorgeous addition and of course you're very well used this beautiful vaulted ceiling covered porch so I say there's three sets of electric drop down fly screens they're all open at the moment just so we can do the video you've had ceiling fans added out here there's a tv connected out here but this is really a large second sitting room and probably the most used space in the property now a quick hop around the other side so Beautiful walling all the way around the garden, which is 653 meters. Double electric gate access. You've got a full camera security system as well in place. Now, you know, I'm not going to bore you with all the details, but most of you know a Lakes Vega. Very, very high quality of build, cavity wall insulation, often pin spots, damp course, all as part of their spec. So you can see the double gates open. 
That can be brought back to a garage again if required. But you've got ample off street parking, nice and discreet all the way from the pool. Now, you know, you can see there's a vehicle in there, door access to the right of that, straight into the kitchen. So when you're coming back with your shopping, absolutely perfect. But you could put a big motorhome on here, another car, and you still wouldn't be stuck for space. And running along the left hand side, which I'm not going to film, is a utility corridor. You'll see inside the villa benefits from a full central heating system, solar hot water as well. But around on the left hand side over there, you've got a utility corridor which houses the boiler and all the gubbins. So, one more quick look out here, and then we'll pop along and take a look at the inside for you. You're never going to get tired of that. And location again, because it's in La Perla and Rambler Front, very easy walk to Arbalea Centre where you've got all the amenities. As I drove here this morning, there's people ambling over to the market, bicycles, walking, all forms of transport. Right, let's get on indoors and have a look. So coming in via the covered porch, first room you access is this gorgeous central much larger than average i'd say 38 meter lounge diner the double door the door you see in front of you there is previously one of the bedrooms but now that's been converted to a very sizable office bureau and as i mentioned on the outside it's a lakes vega but so the spec was already very high but the current owners have you know spent a lot of time and money enhancing that and it's now a super quality. You've got light switches that are controlled by Alexa or manually. It's air conditioned throughout, fly screens, ceiling fans. So the pin spots were replaced in here by these gorgeous, these are lights and fans. Corner mounted central wood burner you can see, but really no need for that because there's radiators everywhere from the central heating system. And what an absolutely glorious room. And this divides kind of the bedrooms essentially. So panning around again quickly that way, you can see a hallway there. You've got the second kind of master suite on one side of the property, two other bedrooms and two bathrooms over this side. And then right over to the other side. You can see that's a door access into the kitchen which has a further door going out, as you saw from the outside, to where the car's parked. A little kind of storage cupboard, you know, for ironing boards and hoovers and that sort of stuff. And then double door access into the second master suite. Just a little pan around from this side. To show you what a beautiful room this is. I think what we'll do is the guest wing first. So coming off this side of the lounge, you come into this wonderful hallway. You can see already there's one of the bathrooms, but first are the bedrooms. Fitted wardrobes and a ceiling fan in here. Carry on around. Excuse the footsteps. A bit clunky. Second guest bedroom. So that's bedroom number two. Very good size. It's a double room. Okay, we've gone for two singles in here, like with the last one, but you could get doubles in them both. Again, fitted wardrobes and a ceiling fan. Now this houses, this little cupboard here houses another boiler for this side of the, or, or immersion tank if you like, to store hot water for this side of the property. I think it's a very good idea when you've got a house of this size to have that system. And then a full family bathroom. And 
and then on into the master on this side. Which has a very lovely, good size ensuite with walk in shower. A huge bank of fitted wardrobes, triple bank, I suppose they best be described as. And then back here, now there's a lovely double door straight out to the garden pool side immediately behind me as well. So I hope you're keeping count, that's three bedrooms and two bathrooms so far. And then what would have been a very large fourth bedroom that's now been converted to this amazing office and I don't know if you can see at the end there but you've got a computer screen because there's security cameras all around the property so you can see the driveway, the swimming pool area from inside of the villa and obviously this goes on to phones and of course they use as an office that's the owner's personal choice so equally it can be converted back to another good size guest bedroom Over other side of the lounge, we come into the kitchen. Now, the owners appreciate it's not the hugest size kitchen, it, it does them, you know, it is a holiday property. Door access you can see to the left there that leads out immediately to where the car's parked. Double thickness granite worktops. Now, behind this, there was uh, another, a second kitchen, if you like, a large utility room. Well, that's now been moved out to the garage area. I'll explain why in a second, but that is immediately behind here. So if you wanted to kind of double the size of this kitchen, then that could easily be done. But I can't see that you need to, as I say, you've got almost a second, full second kitchen out in the, in the garage area and this one in the house. But we do like a large kitchen sometimes, so easily possible. Now onto the second master bedroom. So if you count the office, that's four bedrooms so far. And this is bedroom number five. This is the one being used as the master. Further double door access, literally out poolside. See the amazing view from there in a second. What a beautiful room. If I start from here, you might be able to get a beautiful idea of the view. Absolutely awesome. You'll never get tired of waking up to that in the morning. Of course, the fitted wardrobes, there's air conditioning and a ceiling fan in here. And the third bathroom, a totally newly refurbished ensuite. And then what was the kind of large utility room, if you like, behind the kitchen. Or could be another bedroom. Has been converted into a very, very good sized walk-in wardrobe dressing area. A lot of demand for this kind of room in houses at the moment, so not to worry, this one already has it. So lastly, as promised, I'll take a look in the kind of garage which has been converted really from a garage you've got electric water and everything connected out here um, so double door access you can see that brings you out poolside like a, a, a utility area second kitchen describe it as you will there's the water softener stored in here as you can see it's predominantly used for storage not used for a car garage anymore so it can be left as is, converted into a beautiful poolside bar area with full kitchen. You know, look at the location of it. So this could be a perfect entertaining room if you've got guests coming around.
or just left as it is and providing fantastic storage and yes paellas do get cooked in that room as the tortillas and then straight out to poolside to enjoy so there you have it villa darling stunning five to six bedroom detached lakes vega villa on a single single level in the la perla community of arbalaeus rambler frontage easy walk to amenities full details will appear shortly in the link below and viewings can be arranged immediately. Thanks for watching. And if you'd like to come and have a look, contact us, Homes at hotmail.com. Give us a call, plus three four nine five zero four three zero seven six three.